slot's done, the next step is to drill the hole to actually mount the banjo, which is, according to my drawing here, 1.26 inches, which is just over 32 millimeters, which is bigger than my largest drill, so I'm going to have to drill these and then uh, bore them quite a bit because my largest drill is one inch and I've got to take another 260 thousandths out. With the bulk of the material removed with the drill bit, now I can bring the hole to the final dimension with the boring head. And as I said before, I've got a quarter of an inch to take off the diameter, so I'm gonna, it's going to take a little bit of time here. So I finished through boring all three banjos, and now I just need to go back and chamfer all the edges. Um, one, to protect your fingers so you don't cut them, and then two, just in case the banjo were to be, would um, spring close when I slit it, the chamfer will make it so that you can kind of push it on, you know, and it'll wedge itself open so you can get it onto the mount. So to do that, I just got a regular old cheap import half inch shank boring bar. That I've just chamfered the edge of that you can see here. So I'm going to take this over to the mill, I'll mount it up, and I'll show you guys how it works. There we go. One nice clean chamfer. The next stop is to drill and tap the hole for the um, clamping bolt, which is an interesting operation because I've got to run a five millimeter drill through this, all the way through this bar, which is one and five eighths of an inch wide. And the reason why that's interesting is because that's over eight times the, the diameter of the drill bit. And when you get to that range, eight, nine, 10, 12 times the diameter of a drill bit, Drilling holes becomes interesting because at that point the drill wants to start wondering. 
So but I've already done one of these. The drill bit is nice and sharp. The flutes are even, so it shouldn't be much of a problem. Um, so it's just a multiple steps. Drill five millimeter all the way through. Then drill um, a seven millimeter clearance hole and then come back, chamfer, and then tap, tap the hole. With the clamping bolt hole drilled and tapped and cleaned up, the next step is probably the one that makes me the most nervous, and that is to actually slit the banjo. I've only done this a few times, and I don't really think my mill was really designed to do this type of work, but I have done it. I did the first one off camera. So I'll try and move it around and show you guys a bunch of shots of how I got this set up.
I think Karma is telling me it's time to be done for the evening. As you can see here, I've got two that are tapped and uh, drilled on the correct side, and then one that's not. So I've already checked, it's still perfectly usable. I just have to use a regular Allen wrench and come in from the other side versus just using my standard um, T-handle Allen wrench from the more common side, or I should say the right side. So it's all perfectly fine, it's just a screw up and I really, I'm not gonna go back and remake them. So I'm gonna be done for the evening and then probably tomorrow or Tuesday, I will start on um, the tapering jigs because I have to make some jigs so that I can properly machine the tapers on the banjos.